Our other top story on Fox 13 News Live at 5 is an update to a deadly crash we broke yesterday at this hour. The victim was an 11-year-old girl. A family friend has identified her as Winifred Winnie Wolfgram, a sixth grader at Bonneville Elementary School in Salt Lake City. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson spoke with neighbors, also friends, who have created a memorial right at the crosswalk where Winnie was hit and killed. Police believe she was in a crosswalk. Dominique Atkins holds back tears as she places flowers on the side of the road. I just thought of my son. And kneels down to say a prayer. Praying for peace for her family. The family of an 11-year-old girl. I was praying for peace for her. Sixth grader Winnie Wolfgram, whose life was taken from her at this intersection in Salt Lake City Wednesday evening. And I was praying for peace for all those other kids at Bonneville that are probably in shock and hurting today. We believe the 11-year-old girl was uh, crossing the street in a crosswalk prior to being struck by that truck. This crash, uh, what we know at this time, is it involves a driver of a Nissan truck. That man is 47 years old and has been cooperating with the investigation. While police continue to investigate, many community members have stopped by this memorial here today to pay their respects to Winnie and her family, saying their hearts go out to them during this time of tragedy. I can't imagine getting the call from the police or whoever saying that my kid is gone because of because we failed to to build a city that is safe for them. Father of two, Alessandro Rigolone, thinks maybe more could be done to keep pedestrians safe in the area. Longer crossing times, uh, maybe like a you know, an island in the, min in, the, in the middle where, you know, where people can cross and stop, finding ways to slow in traffic down. But ultimately, that starts with drivers on the road. 21 South uh, is used like an urban highway. People will drive well above, you know, 30 mile an hour speed limit. Right? People need to value human life a bit more when, when they're behind the wheel. You know, I mean, people just need to slow down. It's crazy. You know, people running red lights and yellow lights. So I would just say, think of your own family and what would happen and how you would feel. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah. A family friend has set up a GoFundMe page to help the Wolfgram family pay for funeral expenses. The link to donate is posted at fox13now.com.